Hold on. Oh, that was me. Hello? Yo. Okay, that's a lot better. That was my fault. Mike, check. Say something, Flea. Yo. Okay, we great. We great. If you tuned into me, you watching Gully TV. Welcome to the Dribble Podcast. You know I'm often deep in the um the bowels and the underground of East Coast hip hop looking for the next hot nigga and I'm an expert at it. As of late, a MC out of Queens has uh got my attention uh due to a, a series of scorching freestyles online, man. Um the aggression Contained within these freestyles attracted me to what you're doing. And at this time, I appreciate if you introduce yourself. And welcome to the dribble, my nigga. Hey, yo, hey, yo, thanks for having me, man. My name is Zip with the Drip on Instagram, at Leonidas. I'm from Queens, New York. Yo, thanks for having me again, bro. No doubt. Um, first off, could you... uh? Lord, let's just cut the chase, man. You got a, you got a skill set and an aggressive... Uh, Delivery, delivery that's often perfected in institutions and shit like that. I could spot it a mile away. So, um, why don't you give me some insight on your background and how you became an MC? I mean, the flow been the same since I was little, but yeah, I owned that shit in jail. I did a lot of time in jail, Gully, man. I, I, like, I hate to say it, like, but I'm one of them. Uh, they a prison school, the prison pipeline. I, they, 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 they made that shit for dudes like me, you heard? So yeah, like that's why I own the craft factory. Yeah, I'm saying so, the box. So you yeah. a so you a DFY kid? DFY kid, like stay baby, DFY kid, hell you. Okay. Um how long you been rhyming though, overall? Well, I was like, I gotta say twenty five, twenty six years. Damn. Damn. Who inspired you to be an MC, Fleet? I'm from Queens, man, cool G-Rap, bro. Like, once I heard Road to the Riches, I knew I wanted to be a rapper. Okay, okay. Shout out to G-Rap. Um, I seen in one of your, um, one of your freestyles, you said, you said, um, caught a body in 9-6 or so some old shit like that. So I assume you just did about a dub. Yeah, I, 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 I beat that case. I beat that shit. I mean, I, I, actually, I got five years probation for that shit. That's the only reason why I be talking about that shit. But yeah, I beat that. I just did. I just, I, I just had a twenty-one flat. Me and my brother called to sentence on that shit for all robbery, you heard? They gave me twenty-one flat. I did eighteen off of that. You did. You did a case with your brother? Yeah, me and my brother was called to sentence. We was called to sentence on that body too. We just did eighteen. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, it don't get no realer than that, man. Shout out to your brother and shit. Um, damn. Okay, uh, not, take me back to 1996, man. What uh, what type of lifestyle was you leading that um, put you in such a inopportune situation? Young broke, dead smack in the hood, and you know, like trying to prove trying to prove yourself to people, man. Like you know, you ain't gonna come around here talking tough, acting tough, man. man. Dude pulled a gun out, pointing around, waving around, told my what he was gonna do to me and my brother with it. And I left him there, bottom line. I'm saying you ain't that that was it. Okay. Through um what year what years did you spend your time? This is leading up to a question. What years did you spend your time in DFY, roughly? Nine three, nine four, nine five. Came home, I came home October nine five. I went back to jail July nine six for that case we were just talking about. So when you um when you became, I don't know, an adult, you went straight to C seventy four and all of that. In ninety eight, in ninety eight, I caught a gun charge. I was sixteen. I went to I went to C seventy four. I went to C seventy four. What was not? What was C seventy four like in nineteen ninety eight? Nasty work, the early life. The worst. No rules, only, uh, it, was, it was no rules, it was no rules on Rikers Island. You know what I'm saying? It's just like the street, only thing ain't no blood. And that's it. That's it's the only C-74, no is that the juvenile section of the prison? Yeah, that's the adolescence. Okay. With, um, with, al with adolescents, were you there with in the early 90s? Names who would ring bells, um, 
on my platform. Uh, I'm I'm not reaching, but I'm tying this into some things because I interviewed somebody else, a couple of guys actually who grew up in the system, and they might be of similar age as you. I'm speaking to Sherm the Worm. Was you there when Sherm was there? I was there with Sherm the Worm. I just I, before I came home, Sherm just got cut in the spot. I was in the call. I got on the call last year September. He might have got cut there. Sherm was there with Sherm the Worm. Yeah, I was there with Sherm the Worm. I was Okay. Yeah, he called me. He called me. Told me when he got cut. He didn't get no explanation. I interviewed him. Um, I don't know if you've seen the interview on my platform. It was a huge, huge situation about Prodigy's mural, and um, it has something. It was tied to Sherm some type of way. You was in population with Sherm though. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, Sherm. Me and Sherm, me and Sherm had issues. Me and Sherm had our issues and all that. You know, some queens, I'm from Queens, so you know we was fucking with each other, but then. You know, you got a jail politics shit going, you know I'm saying? We, we kind of fell out and all that, but he alright. You know what I'm saying? He alright. <laughs> he said he alright. What happened between y'all, if you don't mind me asking? I got, this is Gully TV Flea. I got to let it all hang out. In order for me to keep my edge, I got to take my listeners certain yeah. places where others can't go. So don't, I, don't mind me. I, you know, look, I can dig it. I'm, 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 I'm from that, I'm from that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't pull no punches. Now I'm saying we was sex money murder. He was the big homie. And um that nigga that nigga that nigga stood there in the shower while them niggas was trying to chop me down at Elmira Field House. Now I'm saying I put on and all that. But he ain't help, know what I'm saying? Like and and because he was the big homie, I, I, I I'm inclined to believe that he he knew them niggas was coming. He let them come, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. How do you feel about um, the gang culture as of late? I don't fuck with it. I don't like it at all. I think it did um, it did incredible damage to the East Coast as far as um, creativity and originality. There was a time when you could spot a New York nigga from 30 blocks away. Um, now, they don't... <laughs> Now it's a little different, man. Um, I was watching a documentary last night about uh, a photographer a photographer by the name of J Jamel Shabazz, and he captured New York City in its um, in, 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 in the infancy stages of hip hop, and New York City had a specific look. You know what I'm saying? And they talk different. You understand what I'm saying? And um, now. I almost got a dig to find you guys. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, Gully, the internet, the internet is to blame for some of that too. Like before, before the the the, the, the styles was particular to those areas. I remember we used to go out and town, like you said, and you could spot a New York nigga. But now because of the internet, niggas is on the internet. If you got a New York niggas dressed, if you got a North Carolina niggas dressed, the Miami niggas is like so. So you could just mix and match however you want to do it now. But yeah, the gang culture kind of fucked New York up. Right. Um, the copycat, the copycat, they kind of fuck New York up. Uh, 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 and, 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 and I ain't gonna talk bad about him because I was part of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I ain't gonna talk bad about him, but he ain't kind of fuck New York up. Do you feel that the, the UBM was effective? Hell yeah, it was effective. Hell yeah, it was effective in New York. Did, 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 did. Let, the, let the old ass tell that the Spanish boys was on some bullshit. Right. You know what I'm the, 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 the Spanish games in New York is extinct. So, they extinct. Ain't no more the other guys, the Latins. They just, you know, they they around, but they not. They not acting. Ain't no more La Familia. The, 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 the Dominican boys with the Papias, the Trinidadios. They they up north. They getting it in a little bit, but you know what I'm saying? They eradicated. They they, they we, we eradicated the Latin games in New York. You said y'all eradicated them. Yeah, they they non they non existent. Like the Latin kings, they around. Yeah, but they not. They 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 not oppressing nobody. They not putting no. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. So it 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 was an oppression. It was actually an oppression because I hear different opinions. I hear people say, "Man, them niggas was oppressing their own people," and we know you know our people will do that type of shit. I heard that. I heard other people say. um it was it was exaggerated. Was was black people ever oppressed on Rikers Island? I believe they was. I was young. That shit started in ninety three. In ninety three, I'm twelve, so I don't know. Okay. But I know. I know that. Um, 
They were saying shit like that to niggas? Hell yeah, they were saying shit like that to niggas. Hell yeah. Just listen to what he said. Okay. I think personally that shit was over dope. That's what I think. That's what I heard it was over. about dope. I heard it was about stolen that's dope. What I think that shit was about gully. I'm gonna keep it real. You know what I'm saying that my grown man, mom, mm -hmm. tell me that that shit was them niggas was getting that bag and they were strong and they wasn't setting it out and niggas had to do something, you heard? Okay. That's what my grown man, mom, tell me, you heard that. Cause we all know that shit started. That shit started on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? The nigga that started that shit in New York. You know what I'm saying? He was a bozo, bro. With Bye. that being said, with that you speaking of OG Mac now, right? Yeah, OG Mac, bozo, with, liar, rat, all of that. You okay, know what I'm with that being said, why do you think people still be carrying the blood flag if it was started by a bozo? I mean, I know that it was definitely real guys involved with that, and, and, it, and it was guys that really fought for the liberation of our people in jail, but... For instance, the nine trace situation. If it's up and it's known that OG Mac wasn't who he portrayed himself to be, why did they continue to carry that car? Hey yo, me personally, right? I read the paperwork. I read the paperwork. Two thousand nine, two thousand ten. I turned blood in ninety six. I read the paperwork. Two thousand nine, two thousand ten. I fell back. I don't discriminate. He started that. He a rat. I'm not perfect. I'm, 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 I'm not perpetuating something that a rat nigga started. You heard? But you had dudes, right? That had a hundred cuts. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he cut a hundred niggas because of this blood shit. Fuck if this nigga's a rat. And I'm, I'm pumping this shit. I did this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I did this shit. You understand? So I understand they logic, but I'm not jacking they logic. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. So you implying that... Um Despite him being exposed, he actually put in some work. Yeah, a bunch of niggas. It's a, it, 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 it was thousands, thousands of niggas that had felt like that. I, 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 like, niggas were saying OG Mac was a rat in 98, 99 when he went home, right? Mm -hmm. But nobody saw the papers. So, dudes was putting work in. They going to the box for this shit. They losing their bitches because they putting in work for this. So, they feel like they, they, they invested a whole lot of shit into this shit, right? Yeah. And then 10 years later, you read some papers and say a nigga's a rat. All right, cool, he a rat. Fuck that nigga. I'ma see him. I'ma buck him down. But I ain't gonna stop fucking with this. <laughs> and that's what niggas' power was at, homie. And that's, and that's what niggas' power was at. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. I'm glad you gave me a um an explanation that made sense. Because I want, I've asked people and nobody... In a, in a nutshell, regardless of what he allegedly did, well, he did do it. You said you seen the paperwork. He created a line of defense for black people in jail. That's a fact. Okay. Okay. While all of this was going on, were you an MC? Yeah, I've been around forever, man. I've been around for six, six, seven years. Like, around. Like, I, I had some shit with 50. I had some shit with 50 still in one flush. And he did it like round seven. Like, I left them old niggas on that shit, too. <laughs> hold on, man. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, please. Please. Before, the, uh, before the, the bids and all of that, you was already going in the booth. You wasn't just a jail beating on a table rapper. You was actually recording. Yeah, gully hell yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I was doing all of I won't I won't dispute that. You definitely fire and um anybody that keep running in the into them institutions and shit, you gonna go in there and get more fire. <laughs> because there's niggas in there practicing that shit and developing perfecting their dribble every day and shit. So if you in there sparring with them, of course, your skill set is gonna continue to develop. Word. Yeah, yeah. All right, so how did you meet fifty cent? I was in the studio before you flushed. We was in a spot called the Cutting Room in Manhattan. 
You know what I'm saying? Me and this rich nigga, one, 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 one of my rich niggas, one of my old ass niggas, nigga had me with him. We was with Roy Flush, 50 pulled up. So I was like, yo, let's go. We just went in there and we did some shit. I wonder where that shit is at right now, too. That shit was at. I'm saying that shit was a nice joint. Did you yeah. know him prior to him coming? Like, did you know of 50 Cent over there in Queens? Yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew of him. I ain't really know him. Like, like he wasn't my man or none of that. Yeah. But, I knew him. but you heard his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before it was 50, though, like, it was the Boo Boo nigga. Boo Boo, right. Okay. Um, approximately where you at in Queens? I'm from Corona. Corona? I'm, yeah, I'm from Corona. Okay, okay. How far is that from the south side? Probably 10, 15 minutes. So 10, you, 15 minutes drive. So you were of that age where you would encounter a Maserati Fox or a Tata or one of these guys, these notorious guys from Queens? They of your age group? Nah, nah, they older than me. Fox, my man. Fox is older than me. Fox is my man. Tata, no good. Know what I'm saying? Like, Tata, no good. That's all I'm going to say about that. And I'm saying, like, it's all going smoke with Ty right now, bro. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, Fox was my guy, too, man. He was like a big brother to me. I'm not even going to lie, man. When I first started out in this business, it meant a lot to have a nigga standing around who had a big nigga at that. He was about 6'5". Yeah. <laughs> Got the hammer on him and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fox, Fox was a thorough nigga, man. Fox was a thorough nigga. Now, I mean, the top side nigga you talking about, man, my brother shot top time and went to jail for that shit, you heard? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shot time with the jail for that shit, man. Damn. You know? Damn. I knew when I heard your criteria, I knew when I heard your criteria, you was all in. Tell nah, me. Nah, brother, you're gully on some real shit, right? I'm not like none of these other rap niggas, gully. Like, like none of them other niggas, son. Like, I'm dead ass. Like, like my story's different. Like, my story's different. I come from a long line of hooligans. I'm seeing my father... You know, he, he allegedly he killed the police. You know what I'm saying? They gave that nigga 62 to life for that shit. When they came to get him for that, though, allegedly his little brother threw a grenade at them niggas. They mother did 10 for a body. You know what I mean? Like, my mother got shot in the head in them streets. Like, Damn. we was putting in work, me and my brother. Like, I'm different. Like, I come from all, I'm different from these rap niggas. They be capping. I don't be doing I totally shit. understand what you, I, I totally understand what you're saying. I be trying to tell motherfuckers, man. Some of us were actual participants. From top to bottom, I be trying to tell them that. Um, Fully, what's your nationality? I'm, I'm American nigga, you heard? You just wild, just a wild ass nigga. <laughs> American nigga, you heard? <laughs> no doubt. Um, throughout your travels, um, perfecting your your, your skill set and in institutions, do you recall any standout MCs that was nice that you'll never forget? Yeah, hell yeah, it's a few of them. It's a few of them, like. Like maybe not even because they was nice, but like the the, the delivery, the the they 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 the, the presence, like you could tell like it's, it's it's a nigga from Staten Island named Ice Cream, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think like I don't think he he he, he, he the nicest nigga when it come to when it come to putting words together, but that nigga control the crowd, you heard? So that's a nigga that if you battling that nigga, you gonna smoke the nigga wordplay wise, but he gonna have the crowd on his side, you heard? Like nigga just command command the audience. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas like that shooter, the shooter nine three nigga, that's my man too. He on some bullshit. He on some bullshit. He ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't pushing he ain't pushing the zip with the drip situation, but that's my man too, you You know what I mean? A A Flea. You nicer than him. Don't even trip him. <laughs> look, that's my man. Yo, look, that's I believe, man. and I could tell that he's a he. He come from the from the mountains and shit. Like I listen to some of Shooter's freestyles and shit. Like y'all, y'all both bring that that skill set, that institution school skill set. That, I'm I'm never never gonna call it anything, but that that's where it's perfected at. Um, everybody don't get it, and um, yeah, you hotter than you hotter than him. That's something you need not to worry about, my nigga. For real, you one of the hotter guys online. That's how you landed on this platform today. Tell me what you doing these days musically. What you doing to um leave an impression on the listeners online? And you know, tell me what you doing with your brand. Hey yo, man, right now I'm saying like I'm just I'm just, I'm just trying to stay down, man. Like. Just trying to stay there every day. I try to get on the grab, throw a freestyle up, you know and I'm saying, like, I'm trying to just trying to test the air. Somebody important, man, you know and I'm saying, see if somebody throw a bag at a nigga, man, let a nigga get to this shit, man. You 
So I can start really like really acting up with this rap shit because I got mad shit and I got years and years worth of shit. The old shit to me is brand new to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So I just be trying to hit the studio three, four hours a day, lay shit down, get up out of there, get back to what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My favorite joint, um, you got a couple just crazy joints, but I think the, my favorite joint when I knew that you uh, was necessary on this platform is when you started to flip the roster voice in a freestyle. You oh, know, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, that that was ill. That was crazy. People don't do people don't go um, creatively left like that out here in society. That's something that's just totally perfected. I know it's, it's gonna be some Jamaican niggas around, it's some Spanish niggas around. They might not be involved with what's going on on this gate, but they gonna hear it. You know what I'm saying? And then they gonna get on their gate and make mad noise when they hear. They hear. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, <laughs> did you ever did you did, did did you ever test that that roster shit out out of, um, up 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 north around some dreads? Yeah, like I, I like 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 I'm accepted at the roster table. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Like, 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 I can put up on them and, and chop it with them, like yeah, like, like I'm one of them. You know what I'm saying right. Was you um? Did you serve time with any notorious rosters? Yeah, Jamaica Scully, my man. Jamaica Scully, my man. Bucky, my man. Like, them is the niggas that started that Black Lion shit in New York. You know what I'm saying? I heard about Scully. Um, the Black Lions, that was a, a, a Rastafari and a Jamaican j jail gang, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. They, 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 they had a blood hood before, too. They had a blood hood before, too. But they got on some shit like, yo, we only want Jamaicans in America. And niggas ain't like that. Like, all right, well, that's a dub, you know? But they had a hood, too. How much, how much, um, input did the Jamaicans actually have on the blood movement? Because I've heard a lot of their names involved with it and shit. I guess they was, they was letting that gun go on behalf of our people. I'm saying, man, anytime you get a wild ass foreigner, man, I'm saying, in a can, no, they don't care, bro. No, they don't care. <laughs> he said, they don't care. <laughs> yeah, they don't care, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, the most humblest niggas in the jail system in New York is the little Mexican niggas, bro. Yeah. They don't Humblest niggas, bro. They don't say nothing. They don't want no phones. They don't want nothing, bro. Mm -hmm. But you just know, like, that's not the nigga I want to violate in the yard because he going to stab you. He want to stay in jail. You know what I'm saying? He want to stay in That's what he banging for. That's what they bang for. That's their principle. They to stay in jail? The MS-13 niggas, man, if you ever see one of them niggas, they might have three dots tatted on their hand, you heard? Mm -hmm. the three dots is what they represent. They should represent the jail, the hospital, and the graveyards, you heard? That's what my grown man brain tell me I'm not as tough as them niggas, you heard? That's what y'all niggas is banging for? I'm not as tough as you, you heard? <laughs> you know I really don't want that smoke with you, you heard? I'm not banging for that, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. That's not what I'm saying, too. You heard the jail, the hospital, and the grave. Those are the places the niggas is trying to stay away from. Right. Now that um, now that you're you know establishing yourself as an MC, what type of response are you getting from um other entertainers in Queens and shit? Have you attracted the entertain uh the attention of Kooji Rap yet? Have you heard from Royal Flush since you came back out? Yeah, flush my man, flush on, flush, flush. Follow me on the gram. I follow, I follow flush on the gram, but nah, not nobody else. Like New York, man. I'ma tell you what's wrong with New York, Gully man. This is what's wrong with New York. Niggas in New York don't show other rap niggas love, bro, until they lick. And the reason for that is because New York is on some competitive rap shit, bro. Mm -hmm. My bitch is better than yours. I got more work than you. My money, I'm my money longer. My car is better. Out of town, they partying, you heard? They in the club, so it's nothing to call the nigga, yo, come get on this shit, we in the club partying with this shit, you heard? New York, they hear you, they saying to themselves, I'm better than this nigga, I'll smoke that nigga, you understand what I'm saying? So, like, you don't get no no love in New York until you lit already, bro. Right. Damn. Um, out there in Queens, is there anybody uh, in particular that you would like to work with? You saying, man? Saying, you know, I fuck with Nas, you know what I'm saying, Shifty. Anybody, man, anybody, anybody in Queens, you know what I'm saying, want to fuck with me, I'm fucking with them because I've been fucking with them. Like, any rap beast that the Queens niggas had with each other, that was with them. That shit ain't had nothing to do with me. I was in the mountains for that, you know what I'm saying? Right. 
the urban them niggas is trying to get their situation back lit, then, then I'm the nigga to come get for that because I got it. Let me say whoever. Like, I don't care. I don't care whoever, 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 whoever got a platform and get me to the masses, let's get to that because I'm nice like that, I feel. And, and, and that's what I need. You know what I'm saying? I need that exposure. You got projects on deck. You got songs on deck. All I heard is a bunch of freestyles. Yo, Gully, I got like 170 recordings. And I'm saying like, I, I, I refuse to give them hooks. I refuse to give them hooks on the gram. It don't really make no sense. It ain't gonna make no money. So those is in the cut. I got like 175, 180 recordings, Gully. Like, I ain't playing. Damn. 180. Okay. Uh, when you, when you, uh, you know, when you plan on, on dropping a project, man, to establish your name and shit, when you, when you plan on taking it further than Gully TV, I'm just introducing you to online. When you plan on going. I'm saying, I don't know when I'm saying, like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm around for it. That's what I'm saying. I'm around for it. Whenever it happened, it happened. I'm saying, if I can rush it, I'm going to rush it. But when it happened, it happened. You heard? I don't miss nothing. And I don't get nothing that my hands don't call for. You heard? No doubt. What year did you come home from that dub? I came home last year, September. Oh, you fresh out. Fresh out. <laughs> you fresh out. God damn, and you just, you said you just left Sherm? Yeah, I left Sherm, I left Sherm, Sherm, Sherm got cut like probably like August, probably like August last year in the spot I was in, you heard? With all jails that you, did you serve that, uh, you say you did a dub, right? 21? Yeah, I, I had 21 flat out the 18 off of that shit, I've been all of them shit, like, I just never did none of them shit close to the city, that's the same, that's the same thing, I did the same thing twice, but like, I've never been a Green Haven, Sullivan, Chihuahua. Other than that, all of the max spots I was in and shit. But Eastern, I've never been in that, man. So you, so you was a level four. Of course, you had a body. Yeah. I did, I did, I did all of that. I'm saying, I'm saying, um, I, 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 I went to some medium. I, I fucked the medium up. I fucked the medium up. And they, they, they jumped on me coming off the visual room. Talking about they seen something coming out my ass and all that. They jumped on me. Who, the police? Yeah, beat me up and all that. They told me, you know, they, they been over the spread them. I've been over the spread them. Let me see you do that shit again. Let me see you do that shit again. Let me see you do that shit again. I did it again. Let me kiss me in the ass. And it was on. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I would have took that ass whipping years earlier than like, 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 like that ass whipping. I went through the coop. I came out the coop. I landed in the spot with my father and my uncle. You know, they've been in jail since December 80. They got 41 years in. This month, make 41 years they got in. So, you know, I don't really know them. So, like, that was the first time I seen my father as a grown man, you know what I'm saying? What so, jail was that? They got a movie like that. It's a movie online like that where a nigga go to jail and meet his pop. What uh, what jail was y'all at? Comstock. What type, of, what type of status did dad carry in Comstock being that he was down 40 years? I'm saying my pops, like, you know, my pops Muslim. Like, my pops Muslim. He old now in his 60s, but I niggas know, like, my pops, my pops name sound like something in New York, like. I'm saying, him and his brothers, like him and his brothers, his brothers a little bit more active, his brothers a little bit more active, and he, I'm saying, like, my pop's heart bad, you know what I'm saying, so, you know what I mean, he kind of, he kind of, kind of, you know how that shit goes, you know what I'm saying, I don't even like talking about that shit, that shit get in the hole. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um... But when, 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 when will we um get the project, though, my nigga? When you gonna drop us with, like, you know, 12, 13 tracks, man? I love to be tweeting your projects, man, because um, I be out here battling these other platforms. And um, I seen Ralph McDaniel's documentary the other day, and he was talking about, you know, he was doing his thing in the city, and then Yo! MTV Raps came along, and they started to apply a little bit of pressure. And his... um. You know his his retort, his rebuttal to them applying, you know, corporate pressure was to go deeper into the underground and shit. That's kind of what I do as well and shit. That's how I found you. What do you uh plan on doing, man? Because after this interview, things gonna change for you. Not a secret no more and shit. So these people gonna want some dope. You got some. You got some. You got some blue tops for these niggas or something. I got black tops. <laughs> Yo, listen, check me out. And yo, listen, in, in, in February, in February, like for the first quarter, I put, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to drop a little tape. I'm seeing me and my brother, like I'm gonna have a, like, 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 like a high red ghost did. High red ghost did. I'm gonna have my brother all over that shit. He get busy too. Okay. So I'm gonna have them all over that shit. Like this, this, we, 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 we different. Gully, like ain't, ain't, ain't nobody do this much time in jail. Come home nice, on some rash shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
You know what I'm saying? I'ma try to make the world know, man, that shit ain't, that shit ain't break me and my son. You know what I'm saying? Like, we still got it. Yeah. You know so, like, first quarter, I'ma try to, I'm saying, I was trying to do it. I was trying to do it for the fourth quarter, and I'm saying, but, but like, up oh, man, other shit start happening, man. I like, 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 I just had the worst two months. I just had the worst two months that I ever had in my life, like, as far as any streets go. You know what I'm saying? But, it is what it is. I'm still around. Mm hmm. Any, so, um, but, any, have you got the ear of any producers? Have you worked it with any um, established producers yet? Oh yeah, airplane B, airplane B hit me with a beat. I'm saying, uh -uh. and when you say established, I mean, I, I ain't got no Swizzy joints, no Yay joints, and none of that. But like niggas who names blinking in the city and all that, they in the emails. I'm getting beats from. Hey, 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 flea. Them niggas not hot, man. This not that type of platform. No, nope, we don't give a fuck about Swiss beats. We don't give a fuck about Kanye either. This ain't that. My <laughs> This ain't that. Airplane I, so airplane B, you heard? Yeah. Airplane B, like, me the B flip, you know what I'm saying? Some, some fire, he got it, you heard? Okay. I mean, so he, did, he did that, he did that, he did that where I'm from, that, 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 that Jay Z shit. Yeah. He do that shit over for me, you know what I'm saying? I spanked that shit. Oh, you did that? Yeah, airplane oh, I B. I want to hear that, man. You, yeah, I want to hear that. Yeah, send me that joint, man. I want to hear that. That sounds right, dope. How'd you yeah, meet this friend. guy? How'd you meet him? My, my, one of my means, one of my means, I was in the can with, and it was like, yo, you need, you need a, because I, I was jumping on all the old school beats, and I was dogging them shits, and niggas like, yo, say, you need, yo, you need original beats, or get a nigga to flip them shits, so you could keep them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know nobody who do that shit, like, yo, I'm gonna holler at my man, where the mother nigga, two days later, he sing that shit, like, yo, yo, mom on this, you know what I'm saying? You so, know what I'm saying? My I'm, trying get, I'm trying to get beat to say, like, Trying to get him to send me like two, three beats. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he could be like the main producer on my shit. I'm trying, I'm trying to pop his shit off like, at the same time I'm popping my shit off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got this thing now where, you know, when an artist come out, he work with like 15 different niggas. He got 15 niggas featured on his album and shit like that. Flea, don't let these niggas fuck up your flow, man. Don't run out there, man, and, and let these niggas feature on that fire. They can't keep up with you, man. I don't want to see that happen to you. Yo, girlie, I don't even like niggas, man. <laughs> I don't even like niggas, man. I'm dead ass, man. I don't like niggas, man. I like, 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 I like some name brand niggas, but I don't really like niggas, man. Niggas is like, niggas is too copycatish, you know what I'm saying? Like, in New York right now, they drilling, like, everything in New York is drill rap, like, spin the block, get the hops, blah, 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 like, that shit is whack, you know what I'm saying? Some bullshit, words. yeah, that's what I meant that by, that's what I meant by, and why I lost their originality and shit, like, nobody's checking for that shit, especially when, um, it's a city in all 50 plus states where niggas doing drill music and shit. Like, we don't want to hear that shit from the East Coast, yo. Yo. And don't, 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 I don't want to, uh, piss on the drill, the drill thing. Because some of that shit be hot. I like some of it. But it's just, um, I've seen these trends come and go. I've seen the, um, the auto-tune come and go. i just seen different trends come and go. And I believe this is another trend. Yo, I got a little man right now, right? I got a little man right now. He dead nice, like on some lyrical shit. But he refused to sit down and write a regular rap. You know what I'm saying? He just only want to do drill shit. Only want to do drill shit. It's him and a couple of, like, a couple little niggas from my hood and all that. My mans and them niggas' sons and shit like that. And I, I, I've been telling them niggas, I've been home, like, yo, we would have been lit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm nice enough to fuck with anybody. On some rap shit, y'all niggas do y'all drill shit and everything, but y'all niggas, like y'all niggas pull the get behind this shit and let's and, 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 and let's come into this shit on some on, 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 on some goon shit, you know what I'm saying? But nah, these niggas want to do this shit that everybody else doing. I'm saying like, I right, cool, like you know niggas is uploading ten thousand songs a day that 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 sounds just like this shit you you gonna you, you gonna blend in? No, yeah. nobody want to do that. I'm saying you blending in like right. That shit is whack. And so that's why I refuse, you know what I'm saying? That's why I refuse. I don't want to get on no drill shit. I don't want to do nothing except for the shit I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do nothing except for the shit that I'm doing. How'd you come up with the name? What's it? Yeah. That's my brother name. That's my brother name. I was, I'm saying, my brother's in jail. I'm saying, I can't do right after that. They, yo, this zip little brother, this zip little brother. I take the brother off. I'm going to be zip little in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And he beat me. <laughs> that's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I heard that, like, let's get to that. Right. Right. 
Like, funny, real quick. Like, that's how I met the shooter, nigga. I was in the crib one day. My brother called. He like, yo, this nigga think he could rap. Wild on this nigga shit. So they whole little click. I wild on the phone on this nigga. Three weeks later, I was in that house with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's how I met him. Magnetism. Magnetism. Yeah. Three yeah. weeks later, I was in the house with the nigga. My brother had one up north already. You know what I'm saying? And I was in the crib with that nigga. Then when he, me and him go up north, we was in the same spot together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Did your um did your name precede you for MCN um in the prison system? I was a basketball player. Oh, when, when I, you pull up, when you pull up your gully hall. Oh. It's pandemonium, bro. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened when you rolled up to a new institution? As soon as I get there, as soon as I get there, like, like you know, you hear niggas, you hear niggas calling them on the gate, nigga, my wife, and you like, yo, gully, oh, Did you battle anybody? Hell yeah, I stopped doing the battle rap shit because then these niggas start telling niggas to suck me balls and all of that. And I'm saying like, you're not gonna tell me that shit in regular conversation. I'm nah, saying. that's 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 corny and shit. Um, in, yeah, in, in Pennsylvania, I will say this: when niggas battle and in, 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 battle in, in the yard in Pennsylvania. They didn't step away from the fact that it was a performance for the whole yard and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah so n niggas was, you know, they extended the proper respects and shit. That's just something that didn't fly and shit like that. But did you have any standout battles with it? I used to battle this nigga named Disco from North Philly. This nigga used to defend me from baseline to baseline. And he played in state boots. I'll never forget him. Disco. State boots. This Puerto Rican nigga played basketball in state boots, and he defended me baseline to baseline. <laughs> My nigga, uh, and he rapped. He, 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 was, he was a famous rapper in the jail. His name was Disco. But who, 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 who was, who was the one? Who was your, um, you know, if you, if you, Ma if you Magic Johnson, who was, who was Bird? If you, if you was Michael Jordan, who, was, huh? Little nigga named little nigga from Harlem named Off City, bro. Name what? Off City. Off City. Yeah, R City. The letter R City. You heard your R. Son. You said R C. R City, like city, New York City, like R City. Oh, R City. Okay, you you said he was from Harlem. Yeah. Y'all got it on a couple of times. Yeah, mad times. Like any any time we in the spot. Like the first time I meet him, we in Clinton Yard. The police pull me and him inside. They take us inside, pat us down, and all that. Well, law here and tell us like, yo, if I catch you niggas out there, you niggas, if I catch you niggas out there with that shit again, y'all going straight to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, yeah. hey yo. Yeah. <laughs> it was this, <laughs> it was this sergeant named Farmer and shit, right? He used to be, you know, he was a yard, he was a yard CO and shit, but he, you know, he would stand out there and shit, you know, not too far from the handball court and kind of watch all the sports going on and shit. I used to always be cutting my sleeves off of my t-shirts trying to make me a little jersey to play in in the summertime, right? <laughs> man, I'm a dunker and shit, so I used to be funking on niggas, man. I, I dunked two or three times, man, with that sleeveless shirt on, man. The nigga stopped me in the chow hall. Yo, look, come here, yo. Let me get your ID. I'm like, what I do? He like, nothing. Just go ahead and finish eating this shit. When I got done eating, he said, come here. I'm like, what's up? He said, yo, man, I told you to stop cutting them sleeves off your shirt, right? I, he, he was like, right? I was, I was like, yeah, and shit. He was like, I wouldn't have even said nothing about it. But you really high profile, man. Stop going on the fucking court. With them sleeveless shirts on, man, because the captains be on my ass, man. You be out there dunking and shit. Like, you ain't, you can't hide, man. Yeah, <laughs> like, yo, we had the stone cold killers in clean. It's snow. It's two feet of snow in the yard. So, like, you, like, in New York, you can't have more than five in a group. That's unauthorized assembly. You can just niggas to go to the box. That right, thing. right. So, what me and him do, me and him is walking side by side. And we just got the whole yard spinning behind us. <laughs> we got the whole yard spinning behind us. Yeah, that shit was ill, you know? Yeah. The few times, the few times, you know what I'm saying? I like the few times, like, maybe get it with niggas, you know what I'm saying? With that rap shit, but like, all city, like, to, for me, that's the most memorable one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is he, is he stuck? 
Yeah, he, he, he went home. He went home. He was fucking with Vado and Cam. That's Vado and Cam, little man. Yeah. But he came back to jail with 50 joints. You know what I'm saying? God damn. Yeah. God damn, man. God damn, man. You got me all fucked. I got to wiggle my fingers and toes, man. That's too long to be dead, man. And I hate that that happens to them niggas that be super fucking talented. Straight up. Yo, 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 yo. Dame Lillard said some shit one time I read in the magazine. That shit never, that shit never left me, man. He said, yo, he said, you fail. He said, your people fail because they train what they want most for what they want right now. You heard? Mmm. And that shit made mad sense. Damn, Flea, that hit so hard thinking about homie with the 50 years, man. Yeah, yeah he put it all on the table. He getting a couple dollars in the projects. He getting a couple dollars in the projects. I want money, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want money. I want a lot of money, though. You know what I'm saying? You should have went to Florida with Votto, you know what I'm saying? If he'd have went to Florida with Votto and Cam took him down there, then you'd have made a bunch of more money than what you was making in that project. Damn, you know what I'm man, I'm hurt about that, man. Shout out to our city. Them niggas be they got a way. They got a way of listening to the dribble up north. If you hear me, homeboy, keep your head up, man. Make sure you um, spend all of your days in that law library fighting for your liberation because it ain't over. Hey, flea, I seen a nigga come. I seen a nigga leave on writ with seventy five years. He came back and threw his TV off the tier. He gave every day back. The nigga came back. <laughs> Check that out. Nigga came back. He left with 75 years. Nigga came back from Rit, threw his TV off the top tier. They took his ass to the hole. He went home from the hole. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that easy. Straight up. <laughs> Word. Um, okay, you've been home a year, man. My man gave back. My man, my man went to jail. Man, yeah, what's the jail? My son, yo, say so shit was ill, some ill shit like that. He, niggas that killed Freaky Ty, he went and put some work in for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? He did. He blew trial. He gave that nigga like 20 to life or some shit like that. Check it. Yeah. He caught a crack case or some shit like that. Check it. Yeah. He caught a crack case. So that's what he got locked up on the body popper. He blown for the body. He get that shit back, yo. They let the nigga go home by mistake. They let the nigga go home by mistake. He ran around for like three weeks, turned himself in, fucked around, he threw that shit out. You Damn. 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 He came back to jail, niggas. He, niggas. he came back to jail, asshole full of shit. He giving niggas everything. <laughs> let me go, nigga. Let me, let me go, nigga. I ain't yeah. telling nothing. This shit is for free. This for free for the brothers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this shit is for free. Yeah, uh, all right, all right. I didn't want to ask you about Ty because I determined from our conversation that he might have been a little bit older than you. But you said that you you had a relationship with the guy who was charged with his killing. Who, Ty, Ty? I thought you said Freaky Ty. Okay. Oh, nah, Freaky Ty, I... The nigga, the nigga, the, 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 one of the dudes that's locked up for that is a kid named Cease. That is my man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I met him in jail, you know what I'm saying? That beef that them niggas had in the streets, I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Yeah. Fake little dude in the can. Little nigga, he like, probably like, five foot tall, five one, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I was talking about the nigga that went and put some work in on them niggas. Like, after they did that shit. Oh. Yeah, and then after them niggas did that shit to Todd, old boy went around there and did some, some of they mans and some shit like that. Shit oh, like okay, that, okay, 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 okay. Shout out to the Lost Boys, man. Spig Nice actually just came home from doing damn near. I don't. I know he didn't do the whole forty, but uh, he had a thirty piece. Of yeah, he had a thirty ball. It. it he might have did. A, a dub of, of of that. I know that shit happened when I was a young nigga and shit, but I yeah, turned the around. Little nigga was big. I knocked this for some bank robberies and shit. I remember I read that shit in the Source magazine. My like, nigga, like, when he got paroled, when he just came home, I want to look up them cases. Them niggas was getting busy. Them niggas was getting busy like Heat, like the movie Heat. And listen, in, in New York, the Queens niggas is notorious for that. Like, you would think that the Brooklyn niggas is, is, is known for robbing. They, they is known for robbing. But they, they, they dogging niggas in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, back in the day, they used to dog niggas in the streets, snatching the money belts and shit like that down on the deuce and all that. The Queens niggas was the niggas running in the banks, right? Yeah. Shout out to Chaz Williams, a, a Queens legend that I interviewed right here. And um, when I when I read Spig Nice's case, when I read his case... 
I said, damn, that's that Chaz Williams shit. <laughs> it was almost <laughs> pedigree. <laughs> Word. Um, Fleet, uh, you got anybody specific that you'd like to work with in 2022? This interview is coming to a close. I really appreciate your time, man. 2022, is there anybody that you'd like to work with, producer or MC? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, yo, Celebrity Flash in Philly, I like Celebrity Flash coming out of Philly, that's my man, I like the act, where he get busy, that was it, I like son, oh, and um, I'm sticking to the script, Philly man, niggas ain't really trying to fuck with me, so I ain't really trying to fuck with nobody, you heard? Yeah, that's that, that's that rock him approach, don't feature nobody, fuck it, the soloist, the soloist, fuck with me? yeah, <laughs> No doubt. I think I think that shit is. I, I'm gonna keep it real. I think niggas are scared. I think niggas are scared to get on some shit with me because they know how I'm a dust them off. My nigga, shit. you be growling on a track, man. Yeah, like yeah, I got yeah. a couple of them joints that I just before I even knew you. I'm like, man, this is that right here, man. For real, like you even got off on a fucking juvenile beat. That was crazy. You did 400 degrees, right? Yeah, the 500 degrees. You know, ESCG and them that did that shit. I was on the block with my young niggas, they on the block with this that shit, right? I like, I don't, I was lawyer, you know, like, you never seen my little niggas on the block, they like, yo, this that fire right here, I'm like, yo, my nigga, I do that shit, but them niggas right now, and it's like, nah, I did that shit, no pay, no nothing, like, it's 30 minutes, you heard, 45 minutes, I did that shit, 30, 35 minutes, and shit like that, you heard, so I'm gonna turn the camera on real quick before I forget this shit, you heard, turn the camera on, I'm all doing it, no doubt, okay? so, uh, let, let's make this clear, you still write raps, right? Hell yeah. I like, I love you for that, man. It, it's like a dying, I don't know, practice, man. Everybody, a lot of them drill niggas, they just going, I've seen them do it with my own eyes. They just go in there and just start chanting shit. And punching, the, yeah, punching and all that shit. Like yeah, that. Okay. yeah. Yo, 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 gully with real shit. The niggas with the slow, dry ass beats. Them niggas is whacking me. They don't got no flow. You know what I'm saying? That's why they got them whack slow beats so they could... Talk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you ain't gotta exercise the cadence, you know what I'm saying? La, 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 like when you punch it in, you don't got no cadence, you know what I'm saying? Like that's why I be doing that shit, like I post that shit online, like see me spitting this shit, this how I spit that shit in the stoop, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> KRS one said this shit, did, 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 did. what make the nigga stand out is breath control, you heard? I okay. got that shit, you heard? Who your favorite MC? Of all time? Of all time. Mine's is half a mil from Brooklyn, he was a bear. Half was a bitch, he ain't have enough shit though, Gully. I don't know how that's a fever, he ain't have enough shit. He had, he had some shit, but he ain't have enough. Yeah, he yeah, he he, he didn't get get to create a, a big body of music, but I'm still stuck on that the the the, the million album, the debut and shit, fires of hell yeah, and yeah. shit. The group with half mil shit that stick out to me is that shit where he was like, yo, we pop, we be pop Chris down and drop pennies in the same speech. Can't get a penny in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga, but he ain't have enough shit like. Like, Fab, my favorite nigga, you heard? Fabulous? Yeah. I'm going to tell you why. I think Fab, me personally, I think Fab is the nicest nigga, son, because he got the most range. Like, in 02, Fab was on a song with Bow Wow, right? Yeah. That basketball shit, right? He was on a song with Bow Wow. The next song, Come On Hot 97, is the Y'all Know Who Keeping It Gangsta remix with M.O.P., you heard? Yeah. Like, nobody else could do that in rap. Nobody, and, and not be out of place, is what yeah. I'm saying. Like, because you could do it, but you nobody want to hear you on a song with no fucking little kid, you heard? But you wanted to hear Fab on that shit. And then you wanted to hear that nigga on it. So, who else could get on a song right now with the softest rap nigga in the game? And then the hardest rap niggas in the game and not be out of place except for Fab. Nobody can do that shit. That's a great point, and I won't even refute that. That's a great point. I never heard it put like that, but yeah, he definitely was on the track with Bow Wow. They had a video and everything. I had a video, but then the next song come on is with him and MOP, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, and keep up with them. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, like, 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 but that's not when I say he was the nicest nigga because it was a time with for like three, four years. I ain't even fuck with Fab for the funeral music and all of that. I yeah. was like, oh, those random punchlines. I'm not really jacking Fab. But once he come back with those soul tapes and all of that, it was like, yo, this nigga different. You heard? Like, he different. Kiss. Him and Kiss, though. Like, him and Kiss is my favorite so, nigga. So, 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 so who got the best on the soul tape? Oh, you talking about on that Freddie vs. Jason? With with kissing um Fab who 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 I, think, I, 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 I like Fab more than shit I like Fab more than shit that I like kiss. Yo kiss is ill too son 
Chiss is an ill nigga, son. Like, nobody stuck to the script like that nigga, you heard? Yeah. Nobody. Nobody stuck to this. That nigga ain't never switched the flow up. Never did none of that shit. And he's still to me, you know what I'm saying? To me, he's still, like, the nicest nigga. Like, he's nice. He said okay. that shit 20 years ago. I said everything y'all could possibly say. He's still saying shit, you heard? Them niggas, you know, these rap niggas is my uncles, you heard? Mine too. Yeah, these niggas. I be telling them, niggas bro. that, man. When Jam Master J got killed, I took that. I took that shit personal. To them. If I would have knew about, it, I would have told on that nigga. <laughs> I, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Nick, they, Nick, don't be fucking with our fucking uh, our icons and our fucking heroes and shit like that. It's a hands off policy, man. Like I feel some type of way about that shit. That Jam Master J shit, Tupac and um, Biggie. I feel that them niggas was actively thugs. They rapped about thug shit. Niggas bleed just like us. And, you know, all this crazy shit. They was... Jam Master J, I didn't get that out of him, man. I took him as um, a role model. Um, like you said, one of my uncles, man. I used to be in the mirror practicing my b-boy stance and try to see if I could be cool as J and shit like yeah, that. Like, yeah, yeah, like the niggas, the, niggas told, the niggas told me the shit that the niggas on the call wasn't going to tell me, man. Yeah. I hope them niggas listening too, man. I hope they listening, man, and understand how much they mean to us, man. Because I wouldn't, my life wouldn't have a lot of direction without hip hop, man. I was born in '76. I literally grew up with the all of the components of hip hop. I was a b boy. I used to break. I didn't try spray paint shit before. Like, I was there for all the concept. I even fucked up some of my mom's needles on her turntables. You know what I'm saying? Trying to scratch some OJs and all that. Yeah, fucking my mom's records up trying to do the yeah, cut yeah, creator and shit. I did that shit to grandma shit, fucked all that shit, something. Like, like you said, though, like the rap shit, like, once I, once I liked rap, it was over. I, I didn't like nothing more than I liked rap. What's up, what? Me neither. Love of my life. Once I liked that shit, once, 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 once I said, all right, I like this shit, I didn't like nothing more than that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. No doubt. Like, I, like, I, I, like, I like to tell people that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know about rap, sports, and the streets, you heard? Me too. That's my, that's my shit. That's my shit. That's, that's my what shit. I, know, I don't know about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I know about that shit. One of the last things I want to ask you is throughout your time in DFY and going up to those max jails, who was the nicest on the basketball court? I know you remember him. Tell me his name. Yo, it's a few people. It's a few people. It's a nigga from Harlem named Johan. You heard Yo Nitty. That nigga Johan get busy. You know what I'm saying? That nigga handle. You know what I'm saying? We talking that dribble shit. Johan can teach a nigga how to dribble. You know? <laughs> Talk that shit. Who else? That nigga nice. Johan nice. It's a nigga. It was a Brownsville nigga named Quiet. I remember. He was a beast. A nigga from Rochester. A nigga from Rochester named B Mac. He was like D Wade. Yeah. When D Wade was D Wade, he was the same way. But this nigga was like a three sport athlete, like like an addict that used to take the football games and the basketball games. He might Vic with the football, he D Wade with the basketball, and he took a shame with the boxing gloves. Talk that right? shit. I love yeah. athletes, man. Talk that shit, man. Yeah, he like that. Like it's Word. a few niggas. It, 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 it was a few niggas with that back. You know, New York. New York is, is, is a basketball city. That's why I asked you. It's it's one of the meccas of, of basketball, especially yeah, street no, basketball. It, point it, guard it, capital of the world, too, at one point it, in time. It's more... Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, that, that, that's how I start fucking with you. Just fucking with Kenny Anderson. You're talking about Kenny Anderson. Oh, right? man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you, Kenny Anderson can do everything except for finish, man. If he could finish, he'd have been great. Man... Kenny Anderson, he, he he fucked he fucked up his wrist when he got to the NBA. I believe John Starks hurt him, and his stroke was never the same. But he the same nigga that gave Bobby Hurley thirty two points in college. Man, that jump all right. <laughs> but see, it's hard. Like it's, 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 it's easier to pick out anything. It's easier to pick out the nigga that, the, anything other than the basketball nigga. So you might get a basketball game where it's ten of them little niggas that's dead ass nice. Man. Yeah. Damn, like. Like, hey, yo, look, in Clinton, it's, oh, it's a nigga named Malachi from Far Rockaway, dead night. That, 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 let me see, like, all like, the niggas start thinking about this shit. They used to bring the, um, the niggas from Platt, Plattsburgh Community College in Clinton. Yeah. Up Clinton and let niggas play them niggas and all that. Yeah. Nigga Malachi and Cameron before the game. I'm gonna get these niggas sick. Watch me get these niggas sick. <laughs> one of the niggas come over there, one of them niggas come over there, like, you're not gonna get none of us sick. Valentine commenced kicking them niggas' ass on that court, you heard? Yeah. That was stacked bundles. That was stacked bundles, little man and shit, you heard? 
Oh, he, dead nice. he dead nice on some rap shit too, bro. No doubt, man. I love what we created this this uh, this morning, man. People are going to listen to this interview, and we're going to take them places that often media outlets aren't permitted to go. Um, I appreciate you taking your time and sharing your story with me. I'm going to walk with you through this hip-hop culture. Whatever you do, I got my eyes on you. If you need me, you know how to reach me, my nigga. Again, I appreciate you for coming here first. Um, am I the first to interview you? No doubt, create a uh, cr constructive criticism. Yeah, yeah. So they don't gotta be constructive criticism. I'm saying I hate you, bro. Like, I no doubt. Like, tough skin. No doubt. Yeah, yeah, tough skin. I be trying to tell people I don't give a fuck about much. And I'm saying I, I, I'm not saying no, 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 not on no funny shit. But I bend it over and bust it over for niggas, man. A lot of times. Like, I ain't got. I'm saying no hang ups. I'm saying no doubt. Flea, go ahead and give me a drop, man. I'm going to get up out of here, man. Leave your uh, your contact information so my listeners can come check you out on Instagram and check out some of those hot-ass freestyles. But, yeah, go ahead and give me a drop. Let's get up out of here. Hey, yo, man, you now rocking with Gully TV, man. This is it with the drip. Hey, yo, man, tap in, man, giving y'all that real shit, man, from these streets, man. It's that East Coast shit, man. Yo, Gully, man, we appreciate you out here, man. No doubt. Well, what up, man? Hey, yo, man, my name is Zip with the Drip. We a nice, man. You type in Zip with the Drip on any of them search engines, man. I got some shit that's gonna pop up. Just a nice. You want a good freestyle? I got that every day on the ground for you, man. Whoa, I appreciate day. you, Flea. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Tell your people, man. Listen up, man. You want to dribble now? Peace. Aye. My Aye. man. Aye. Yeah. Peace, bro. Yeah.